This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, an Atlanta native call Soldier Boy out for never, ever trapping an ATL. Soldier Boy never did trap, okay? He was 16 years old when he got famous. Before that, he was trying to get famous. If he ever trapped anything in his life, it might have been a couple little nugs of greenery, <laughs> okay? Everyone's claiming he, he what happened was along the line he wanted to be like Gucci Man. Gucci Man was coming on the scene right when he was and he just wanted to be like Gucci Man. There's nothing wrong with that. He got a little out of control though. But uh and it probably cost him a lot of endorsements. Uh also Soldier Boy says he just bought the Maybach truck, but he thinks it's weak. Then why'd you buy it? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. He's already spending that uh versus money. The 150, 200K, whatever they get. Uh, anyways, moving on. Kevin Gates. This is sad, actually. Uh, he said he was touched when he was a child. And that made him want to be the toughest person in the world. That's why he took martial arts and a bunch of other stuff. And that's why he's so tough. He was a, he said he was a violent child because of that. That would make any child violent. Nobody, no kid should get in touched inappropriately when they're young um i actually feel bad for him on that and you know props to him for sharing that it's probably really tough to share man uh young buck is trying to share his truth but it just doesn't come out ever uh he keeps getting asked why he was with a you know transformer and uh, he de he denies it and then even on a recent album or a prequel to an album he drops the song public opinion where he goes at 50 cent for making fun of his choices but really what happened was young buck was upset with his deal with g-unit for the third time this is the third time he's wanted off of g-unit right and he knew that 50 cent and him weren't going to come to terms especially after the transformer video broke out and the phone calls so he decided to go off on 50 cent he goes off on 50 cent on every album now because that's his selling point um, he said, uh, F the world when these guys talk about me. I went and got a bag when they talked about me. So he's like, he's getting more money because they're talking about me. Didn't even get mad. I'll just let them be. Gangsta, can't you see? I'm a G. I notice a lot of people keep their distance from Young Buck now, like Boosie and other people. Uh, he only has a few people that mess with him still after everything came out. And it's also because he's a liar. Why doesn't he just admit the truth? I mean, it's almost like someone's like just, you know, uh, sitting in a Mercedes. And then they're like, hey, did you just buy a Mercedes? And they're like, nah, I hate Mercedes. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's obvious, you know? It's like, come on, man. Talking about Boosie. Said, y'all don't want to join the Cosby team now? Y'all was clowning me at first. This is what I like about Boosie. He always speaks his mind, speaks his truth. Cosby was released. Charges were dropped. People are trying to say he's still not innocent, but the charges were dropped. That means he's innocent on those charges. Uh, he's home. Uh, this doesn't go against any victims that come forward or anything. This is just pertaining to this case, okay? Some of these women were paid off back in the day because they were going to start trouble for him and it was cheaper for him to pay him off, okay? Then they came forward. Those cases, those particular accounts got tossed out. Other ones got tossed out for other reasons. Another prosecutor looked at it and tossed him out. That's what happened, okay? Cosby's free. He's innocent right now, okay? People were saying he isn't innocent. When the charges get dropped and you're let out, you're innocent. You would have to try him again and prove him to be not innocent. Obviously, they're not going to try him for the same thing over again. So he's just going to... Hopefully, Bill Cosby doesn't make a big deal about everything. He just goes and lives his life right now because I feel like if he tries to, like, you know, take this another, another step, uh, this could actually become something where they try to bring him back to court you know hopefully he just stays free lives the rest of his life he's he's 83 uh then we got casanova so a affiliate is is 
facing the death penalty due to a murder charge. Um, they were they 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 took out a 15 year old, indicted in a and uh, he was indicted in a Rigo case as well. Uh, Casanova is facing. Uh, Robert Casanova is facing the death penalty. Brandon Stack, his name was Stack Soto, charged of racketeering on December 1st alongside 18 other members of the untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation. Obviously, they were touchable. Uh, having accused of murder, drug dealer, shootings, gun running, handful of things. Uh, I, I don't know how Casanova is going to get out of this one. It, 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 he chose to affiliate himself with gang that was a real gang like they were really doing things like crazy I, I, don't, I don't see how he's gonna get out of this one just the affiliation is bad but hey that preaching the gangster stuff doesn't work anymore look what happened to Pooh Shiesty they found bills from uh, the robbery or something you know it's just like on his Instagram like people snitch on themselves crazy it's crazy uh da, da, da. that's about it man um i'll have more news for you guys in a little bit i appreciate you guys so much this is jordan tau with jt news make sure you smash that like button smash that subscribe button and i'll check you guys on the next one